You know, before the whole fallout with Dan Slott, I actually praised his writing on Fantastic Four. This is the thing number one, and I was looking forward to it. Give me a thing book. I like the thing as a character, so I and I, you know, I kind of think this is it, the character you can hardly screw up, right? I don't think they do that too much here. There's a very dark beginning, and then it kind of goes into what should be the light part of the story where we're actually meeting and talking to Ben Grimm and getting to know him. But it, oh my gosh, what a mopey. Now, Ben Grimm has been mopey before, but why did they break up Alicia and Ben? What's going on? I don't, I'm not going to read the book uh, to figure it out and find out, but I can only imagine that, holy crap, what I read here where Alicia says, well, I think we need to see other people. I need to think we need... We need to separate and have our own time to figure out our own lives. They, they've been together forever and a day, guys. They've done that already. That's the whole point of their relationship, getting together and such. I don't know. I did not like that at all. And that has colored the whole book right here. I get it. Ben's, ben should not be jealous of Alicia being out with anybody. Seriously. This is something that he, he should not be like, Oh, woe is me. I'm in the ugly rock monster when it comes to Alicia. Because he should understand if anybody accepts him for who he is, it's her. So I don't know what led to this cluster. All I know that while I was reading it, I kind of wanted my ever-loving blue-eyed thing back. Doing ever-loving blue-eyed thing things. Instead, once again, we got Mopey McGee. Not even for the usual reasons, but for stupid ones. I don't know. I wanted to like this book. I didn't hate it. It's just I don't like the direction it's going in.